Ah! It's me! What could possibly go wrong? Oh no, this is starting to go poorly. Oh no! They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I am sick of this losing! Hey everyone, this is Cheese Ninja, and you are watching the fifth episode of my Mountain Blade Warband playthrough series. Last time, I got my butt kicked by some brigands, and I think if I if I want to get my revenge on those brigands and successfully beat other bandit parties from now on, I'm gonna use my friends, like the game kind of intended, um, and in order to get my revenge, I'm going to try to take out every single type of bandit this game has to offer. First up is going to be Sea Raiders, which I, I know is kind of a big jump because Sea Raiders may or may not be, in my opinion, the most dangerous bandit party. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we can beat them with 25. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. And I know we have the numbers here, but Sea Raiders are pretty difficult to beat, so I'm going to be pretty careful about how I set up this battle. I'm going to order my troops to follow me, and I'll set them up. I can't see these guys at all. Okay, there they are. That is a good start. Let's do my classic level up right in the middle of battle before things get completely insane. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, can you please distract that guy so I can kill this dude? Bro, my knight just whiffed hard on that guy. Guys, stop dying. Guys? Guys! We can't lose again. No, we can't. Alright, I'm gonna jump this dude from behind. Man, that second swing didn't do anything. Alright, time for some evasive maneuvers. We gotta get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, I needed to hit that shot. Alright, at least the archer's dead. Okay, there we go, there we go. I think we're gonna make it out, guys. Oh man, why are moving targets so hard? All right, team, you're gonna have to take care of this. Okay, that was pretty stressful. It's just nice to win one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to hire all these dudes because like 80% of my army just died. Now this is why you fight sea raiders. They've got probably the best loot of any bandit faction. Like this ax here, this, that's a good two-handed weapon. We are in no position to fight those guys. I think we could take on five. If we can get him separated from this other group, that is. There we go. Less talking, more raiding! Oh my god, it, I can't see again. <laughs> I gotta go turn off the lights in my room so I can actually see sh I did not expect. All right, I think we're good. All right, there's only five of them. This should be easy. I feel like I say that every time, and it usually doesn't end up actually being the case. Oop, here come the javelins. Oh my god, just die! Oh, he's dead. Hmm. I like how both me and that Seerator suffered traumatic head injuries, but I'm the one who's going to be fine in like three days. Shoot him up, boys. Shoot him up. Hell yeah. Okay, now that I'm at full health, I think this would be a great opportunity for us to take out this bandit layer right here. And I'm gonna bring out the axe. Um, I think this is a better axe than my sword is. I mean, I mean it's a it's a great axe, so I'm sorry. Sorry. It's a great axe. Sorry. Will you stop it? Yeah, so when you go to the bandit lair and you have a fight, uh, you can't bring any horses and you can only have like six or seven troops, so this is good. This is who I'm stuck with here, so. That's weird, there's usually people over here. Guess they're all on that side. The other thing is, once we start killing Sea Raiders, more will start spawning, and in all likelihood, a lot of them will spawn behind us, so that's a little bit worrisome. I have to keep looking behind my shoulder.
Man, I need a better crossbow so I can actually hit something. That's not the problem. Dude, this axe is awesome. Yes, that's the last guy. Damn! Okay, I see. Dang, we got food for days now. Wow, that fight basically doubled the amount of money I have. Okay, I think the Seriators have had enough for now. Let's go mess around with some Taiga Bandits. Hold on a minute, are those brigands? I 100% want to get revenge for what happened last time. Okay, everybody follow me. Alright, cavalry, run them down. Alright, we all know I'm putting it in charisma. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, we lost the Vader infantry, a peasant woman, and two caravan guards. Rest in peace. But we've got some more friends. Alright, you're next, Tiger Bandits. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. This this is my kill. Get out of here. Go away, Niaz Voldrot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was laughing at your name. What do you think I want? I've been chasing you through the... the the cold tundra snow for like multiple days now. Probably the most difficult part about fighting Tiger Bandits is they all have ranged weapons, either bows or javelins of various sorts, so we're gonna hide behind this hill until they show up and so we can kind of surprise them.
All right, I think I've got a large enough army now that I feel comfortable trying to fight some step bandits. Uh, those guys all have horses and they have throwing weapons on horses, so they're a little bit more freaky than other, other bandit types, but I think we're ready for it. The only problem with having a larger army, though, is that I'm probably going to be slower than most of these bandit parties, so it's going to be harder to catch them. Stop running away, damn it! Why are you running? Why are you running? We're slowly getting closer to him. Get away! Okay, since these bandits all have horses, my strategy is typically to have all my troops stand really close together, kind of like in a clump. It's a lot easier to take out the step bandits when they're stuck among my troops instead of running around us in circles chucking javelins at us. I also like to stand in the front just so I can see if I can get any early kills and possibly reduce the amount of step bandits that are just couching their lances right into my troops. Dang it, I just whipped. Okay, I'm getting wrecked right now. Alright, now that the initial bandit charge is over, I think it's time for my troops to push back. I'm really proud of my troops right now. They're handling this really well. Okay, my army performed really well there and Step bands are like actually a pretty legitimate measuring stick for how good your army is, so I'm like really impressed with what just happened here. Oh wait, I guess I guess there's still three to go. Okay, now we really want them. I'll get these new troops, and we even got a prisoner. Okay, so now that my army's this big, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these prisoners to the salt mine, and we're also gonna put all my maxed out level troops into the garrison of the salt mine because they can't be upgraded anymore and if we can if we keep fighting uh, bandits and stuff i i would prefer to focus on upgrading people rather than risking the lives of the troops that are already maxed out okay i guess we'll head to the deserts next Hey, you made it to the end of another video. 
If you want to see more Mountain Blade Warband content, there should be two videos right here. And as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another video.